Hey, hey, hey! Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm showing you two ways to use aloe vera for your hair to help with growth, strength, and retain moisture. First of all, you take your aloe vera and then you wash it. I'm giving it a very good bath. And after that, I'm going to split this into two. How do you use aloe vera? Share your comments below and let me know. So once it's clean, I'm going to trim off that portion that looks so brown. Aloe vera offers many healthy benefits for the hair. If you are looking to grow your hair, retain length and then maintain moisture. It's now time for me to divide it into two or just cut a portion. The first thing we're going to do is the aloe vera oil. I'm going to trim off the pokey edges or the thorny edges. So that's what I'm doing now. And I'm going to cut it into pieces and add into olive oil and then let it cook for a little bit. I'm also going to include coconut oil. So let's start the process of preparing the aloe vera coconut oil recipe for hair growth, moisture retention, and strength. So the oil is in the pan already. And so I've just added the aloe vera and as you can see, it's cooking nicely. And that's the scoop of coconut oil. You can add the coconut oil actually before you add the um, aloe vera oil, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't make much of a difference. The coconut oil does allow the, does cause the foam, the oil to foam, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's still healthy. So now it's ready and I'm taking out the cooked aloe vera, just throwing it out and then I'll pour my oil into an oil container that I'll be using until I run out and then go through the same process. So there you have it, your aloe vera coconut oil is ready for use. The second recipe is aloe vera as a moisturizing detangler and that's what we're going to do now. And so remember we split the aloe vera into two. I'm going to use the other portion as a pre-poo conditioner for my hair before I wash it. So again, we trim off the thorny edges. It helps detangle the hair, especially if your hair is natural. This recipe is good for everybody. We're not gonna add any form of oil. I'm just going to use the aloe vera as it is. So we go ahead and scoop out the aloe vera juice. It's slimy and slippery, so in scooping it out, you just have to be careful. You can use a knife or a spoon, whichever one works for you much faster. And once you finish scooping these, you can go ahead and blend it. When you blend it, it becomes much smoother, but I went ahead and use my finger to squeeze it it's fine with me it works with me so that's what i'm going to do now yes so that's how i do it i just squeeze it some people blend it either way is fine and like i said this recipe works for every hair whether it's permed natural or bleached or dyed hair it works perfectly it helps detangle knotted hair adds moisture makes it easy to manipulate 
So once I apply this aloe vera juice in my hair, I wait for about 30 minutes before I wash it out. And then just wash with your regular shampoo and conditioner. And then that's about it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and subscribe, like, share this video and then press on the bell on the side so that each time I upload a video you can get notification. Once I finish adding the aloe vera into my hair, I wash and everything is clean, I just go back to the oil and then apply the oil into my hair as a form of a leave-in conditioner. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you again in my next video. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Bye.